What's going on, guys? Drums Dogs here. Welcome back to the channel. All right, you guys, we got the Sharper Image DX2 stunt drone. Comes with this big goofy remote. You guys seen this guy on the channel before. You guys seen me fly this guy plenty of times before. Quick snow day fly, guys. Let's go ahead and just fly this bad boy. So, yeah. They're going to pop out. Since the breeze kind of calmed down somewhat. Still a little breezy, but should be all right. This guy only has one rate. But I got a little bit of flight skill, so I should be able to manage. I should be able to manage with the bad boy. It's a quick fly. I've had this little thing for a minute, surprisingly. I know a lot of people are on the fence about these these little sharper image drones, but this one actually hasn't been too bad for me. It has survived. Oh, that's a decent little flyer. I mean, it only has one rate. I guess it's a nice calm rate for beginners, but somewhat, somebody with a little bit more flight experience would definitely would want to up the rates to fly a little bit faster. But like I said, I guess this was aimed at beginners, so. This is the DX2, and I know they got a couple different versions and different models, and you can pick these things up everywhere. I've told you guys that before plenty of times in my videos. This is nothing new. We're just out here just enjoying the hobby, you guys. You don't always have to get a new drone or buy something new. You can just pop out with what you have and enjoy it, and that's what, kind of what this is about here today. Just enjoying this little cheap drone. I've been flying uh, my Phantom 3 and my Mavic and some of my more expensive drones. Sometimes it's good just to get out and fly something that you ain't got to worry about. You know, something just cheap. And if you crash, you crash. Oh, well. But sometimes it's get good to get out and get a good cheapo going and just, you know, enjoying it a little bit. All righty. Even in the flight time, we're getting, I mean, even in the flight time, even in the cold here, we're getting a pretty decent flight time out of this bad boy, which is actually surprising. Usually, batteries tucker out fairly quickly in the cold. It's like 16 degrees. And this doesn't have any GPS. It doesn't even have altitude hold or nothing like that, which I like, but, you know, so it's gonna blow whichever which way the wind blow it. You gotta kind of have a flight ability to be able to combat the wind a little bit. It's not too breezy, so it's flying pretty good on a day like today. And what's good about not altitude hold, you see how I'm flying nice and smooth. You don't see the drone like, you know, like usually with altitude hold, like I'll stop it right now. I'm just hovering right now, nice and smoothly. Usually with altitude hold, you have to fight the barometer and you'll find the drone kind of like bouncing up and doing like this type of thing like that. And you got to keep correcting it. With altitude hold, let me get over here. The wind is kind of blowing on it. You're like, like that. That's what altitude hold, you like fighting the barometer because that's the barometer trying to level itself off but when you got not altitude hold you got total control of the drone so you got total control of the throttle so if you got throttle management you can fly nice and smooth like how i'm doing right now you don't see the drone kind of like bobbing up and down and stuff like that you just see me kind of like just combating the wind and trying to hold my hover so that's the beauty of uh being able to fly without not altitude hold Hey, Pam. How you doing? Oh, not bad. Right on the chaos and drone, right? <laughs> Man, tell me about it. <laughs> me too. I'm going to fly the rest of this battery out. 
Oh, pretty good and pretty long. Wow. Nice good flip on that bad boy. Check it out. And I'm not going to go too far with it. Everybody always asks, how far can you go? You don't want to go too far. Not with nothing this little. Look at it. Flying pretty smooth, huh? And this is pretty much what it's all about right here, guys. You don't have to spend a ton of money to enjoy the hobby. I mean, this is this is enjoyment to me. This is nice and relaxing. This is about a $20 drone. And it's flying pretty decent in front of the house here. I'm able to get outside and enjoy my drone. That's what it's all about. It doesn't matter if it costs $1,500 or $20. Just be able to get out and enjoy I'm actually enjoying this right now, to be honest. I could tell it's starting to get a little bit sluggish. So I expect at some point that battery to subside, but I'm actually quite impressed of how long it's flying today in this cold. It's done, a, it's done better than a lot of mini drones as far as flight time goes. And that's an embedded battery. So it's not like you could do a pop, pop and swap, like I always say. So at least you get good flight time out of this battery. Since it's getting sluggish, let's get a close look at this bad boy. Let's get it all up in your face real quick. All up in your finesse. All up in your grill, your boy drone the dogs. Always hitting you guys with the banger. Smash the like button. If you agree, I'm always hitting you guys with the exclusive bangers. Always. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Shout out to my boy, One Matic, by the way. I know he's going to be watching this one, so shout out to him. Shout out to everybody. Iowa Budget Bashers, FF, everybody that be rocking with your boy. Bubba, your boy, Linnell. <laughs> and that's our flight time. So, quick flight time or quick flight of this DX2 stunt drone by Sharper Image. Doesn't matter what you spend, cheap drones are awesome too. Your boy drones are dogs, hitting you with another banger. I'm out, deuces.